This is your dancer booty and abs, the best exercises to tone and lift your booty and your core. I'm Action Jacqueline. Welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Be sure to subscribe, like this video. You don't need any equipment at all. If you wanna bump it up a notch, grab those ankle weights. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you your first move. We're gonna do interval style. So we're gonna do 20 exercises. You're gonna take a nice lunge to the side. Arms are gonna go on either side of the of your leg and then you're going to lift all the way up to the center if any time it, the ankle weights are too much you can go ahead and take them out okay it's not required so you're still going to get a really good workout so we're going to start with that side lunge in three two one let's go side lunge down all the way up use that balance right there so nice smooth movements so i was a professional ballerina professional dancer, NBA Clipper girl, Laker girl, many years of dance. And it really is one of the best ways to sculpt and tone your body in a nice low impact way. So try to be graceful, right? Graceful has that sense of strength and softness all in one. You'll be so surprised by how much the heart rate really does rise. Okay, we're gonna take a diagonal step to the corner here. You're gonna open it up to the side and then you're gonna bring it all the way up, twist left elbow to right knee. Good, little diagonal press and up. Woo. Right there, cross. Make sure you're giving yourself enough space here, okay, to tap that right foot inside of the right foot and then opposite knee to elbow. So I love this because we're working across the body. This is how you really create a lot of strength and a lot of good sculpting. This is how you get a nice tight waist right here. So have that nice corner. So if it were a clock, it'd be around the one or two o'clock right there. That's where your foot is going. Okay, I'm already breathing heavy. We're only on exercise two. Okay, we're gonna do those two exercises on the other side. So left foot and hands frame the foot. Here we go. So this one, the leg is straight to the side. So this would be your three o'clock, right? Right to the side. Okay. Next one, we're gonna take that diagonal. Left hand on the inside of the left foot. Come back to the center, twist. Let's go. Take a lunge back. We're gonna start with the left foot forward and we're gonna take a nice box lunge. You're gonna tap the right elbow to the left knee, drive it all the way up, okay? So both knees are bent, elbow to left knee, center, drive it up, press the palms back, squeeze the shoulders together, good.
Let's switch sides. Lower and lift. You're gonna lower, lift, stay up there, take the leg. Lower, lift, leg. But anytime this becomes too much, just put that knee down, do the same thing. All right, and of course, taking off the ankle weights is also an option. It's amazing how those one pounds can really make a huge difference. Whew. Definitely makes it way more challenging. So we're working our core, our booty, where I keep those hips up. Those outer glutes really have to work. You can always place your hand down here as I'm doing, as I'm getting tired. Need that extra little support, but you've got it. Good, staying with that left leg on top, coming on to all fours. Take the leg straight out to the side. Everything is nice and square. And then you're just gonna tip, pick that leg up and lower it down. Up. So feel that core working. The goal is to not let yourself completely sway over to the side. The goal is to keep the weight evenly distributed between the hands. Good. So lowering down, getting ready for our side plank. Let's go. with my time so that's why these moves are so good where we're really recruiting the max amount of muscles so that you can get a better workout burn more calories and define your beautiful body just remember that every day that you show up for a workout with me all you have to do is just show up I will take care of the rest for you you can just relax, have fun, enjoy yourself, and know that over time, you're gonna feel and see the difference. All right, so we 
are going to step the right foot forward. We're going to come into high plank, step it forward, step it back. You're going to take a nice little twist open, hand comes into the rib, back down. That's it. Step it forward, step it back, twist. Your goal is to get this foot flat on the ground, okay? You have to really use your core to get it all the way up there. If it's not getting up there yet, just work on getting it there, okay? That's all. I have no special shortcuts for you. You just gotta work your way there. to a back diagonal. So if it were three, it'd be more about four or five. Open it up, tap to the center, and over to the side, just like that. So a nice little recovery here, where you get to kind of stretch through the core, but still use the legs open wide. This is a modern dance inspired move. Any of you who've done Martha Graham style modern dance, know what I'm talking about. Really expand through the chest, through the fingers, yes. Feels good, right? All right, Whew, those arms even get to the workout. Let's do those two exercises now on the other side. Starting in our high plank pose, step it forward. Here. And twist, look up. Same thing on the other side. Take a little breather. Whew. So stepping it back into that diagonal, open up, back to center, cross diagonal behind, little bend in the torso. to really think about expanding your wings wide right here. Really, really wide. Good. Okay. Back into our high plank. We are going to cross this foot over, and then you're going to lift the leg up. Good, so you're gonna cross over the other one, tap it down, lift it up, tap, cross, tap, lift, and tap, good. you need to come down, that of course is available to you. And rest, good. So I'm gonna show you your next one. You're gonna step it forward. 
forward. This time you're gonna come up, hover right there, and then you're gonna step it back into a little downward dog. So step it forward, come up, place the hands back down, downward dog, good. Up. And back. This first one is a little bit challenging, I know. So do as many reps as you can, right? That's what it's all about. It's about getting to your failure and seeing where you can push a little more. And then just take a break and then just jump right back in. That's it, okay? That's how successful people succeed. They fail over and over and over again. And they just get comfortable with that. That's how you learn, that's how you grow. You really can't grow any other way. So get comfortable with going to failure, going to your max. Take a break. <laughs> and then last 10, let's do this. Okay. Here we go, you are doing awesome. These might be a little bit of different moves than you've ever seen. I'm always challenging you guys with something new, something different. Because your body can move in so many different ways. And that's why I think I loved being a dancer so much, because it was like, wow, your body can move this way and that way. And so that's what these moves are really inspired by which is really the most effective way to move and sculpt that beautiful dancer body. down to your elbows and knees. You're gonna extend the left leg back. You're just gonna lift up, tap it down, up, tap it down. We're gonna go to the open diagonal, up, cross, just like that. So just little taps. So I'm tapping one corner of my mat and then I'm tapping the other corner, nice and slow. on the other side focusing on that slow movement the slower the better it really is especially on the way down instead of letting gravity take over resist against gravity keep that core nice and tight So 
Okay, our final move. We are going to do some burpees. Don't get scared. We're gonna come down. We're gonna just reach forward right here. Hands down, back to our high plank. Step it forward, up, good. So alternating the legs that come up. Whew. Keep those legs working. That core really has to work to get those feet up there. Together. Last little bit, try not to come out. We've worked that core, we've worked our booty, we've worked our legs. This is it, last little finisher right here. Give it all you got. I know it's burning, but again, this is where you create the change for yourself. No one else can do it for you. So stay, stick with it, stay with me. Woo! Through the burn, come on, you've got it. We're gonna be out of here in just a little bit. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you are all done. Woo! Oh my gosh, they are burning. Make sure that you cool down with one of my amazing cool downs here. I'm Action Jacqueline. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this channel with a friend that really supports me and that'll support your friend too. So like the video, comment down below. I'll see you next time, bye.